Let's start. Today we will see how to implement a floating action button in Flutter Android. Let's see the main.dart file. First, we import the material.dart package. Then, we create the stateless widget called myApp in the main function. This is the myApp stateless widget. We create a material app and apply a theme in the build function. The home attribute is set to a stateful widget called my home page. This is the my home page stateful widget. Here we create a state object of this stateful widget, whose name is underscore my home page state. This is underscore my home page state class, here we will design our app. In the build function, we have a scaffold widget upon which we will build other widgets. The app bar attribute is set to the app bar widget. Here we specify the title of the app bar. The body attribute is set to null because I do not want to show anything inside the body. Below that, we have a floating action button. Here we set various attributes of the button like, its elevation, background color, etc. In the child attribute, we use an icon widget. We show an add icon on this button. When the user clicks the button, the onPressed function gets called, where we print some text in the log. Let's run the app. So this is what our floating action button looks like. Now, let's add another attribute called mini. And set it to true. You can see that, the size of the floating action button is now shrunk and it has turned into a mini button. So that's it. That's how you can create a floating action button, in Flutter Android. Thank you.